Hey, I'm Ron Drodos from KeyboardImprov.com and welcome to our journey through the real book number 170, which is a great jazz waltz called I'm All Smiles by the songwriting team of Leonard and Martin, who wrote for Broadway. And this is the kind of jazz piano lesson that will help you um, with your rhythm. This is really about jazz waltz rhythm on, on, on this one. So uh, jazz waltzes, okay. They're sort of halfway between um, ballads and, and swing tunes. You know, a ballad is sort of this really beautiful, relaxed kind of feel, right? A swing tune is one, two, right? It's got that sort of swing rhythm, right? Or one, two, one, two, three, four. Or it could be um, hard-edged or, or relaxed, but it's got that, that swing to it, right? Jazz waltzes are kind of in the middle. They can go either way. So you could play a jazz waltz. Um, I'm just gonna sort of play around in the key of C for a minute. So you could play it. it might be surprising because I didn't just come out swinging hard charging on every measure I didn't kind of go you know um, like you might on a swing tune right where you go you know you're playing with that swing eighth note thing if you play too many swing eighth notes on a jazz waltz ironically it sounds less jazzy not more so um, uh, I played a lot of straight eighth notes, or even just quarter notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then a little bit of jazz. So I kind of think of a, a, a jazz waltz as, it's like you have this waltz, this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And, and you're stretching the rhythm in different ways, sort of like a piece of taffy or clay, where you're, you're stretching it and you're molding it. So it could be um, four against three. It could be four sort of quarter notes over three notes. One, two, three. You know, if you're going into this one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. See? Da, 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 da. Another way to think about jazz waltz rhythm is you play Take Five by Dave, Dave Brubeck and you add a sec, an, an extra beat because he has five beats. It's in effect a measure of three and a measure of two. So it's one, two, three, four, five. See, so it's ba, 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 ba. So I'm just going to add another um, pa, pa, another pa to that last measure. So instead of this, I'm going to go. Alternating a jazzy measure and a straight waltz measure, you know? Okay. Alice in Wonderland, sort of like that. So um, jazz waltzes are in that fun land between ballads and medium tempo swings, as far as I usually approach them. So check out uh, the Miles Davis, Someday My Prince Will Come with Wynton Kelly on piano, uh, Bill Evans, Waltz for Debbie, Alice in Wonderland, and all the versions of I'm All Smiles to really get a sense of um, the, what's possible with the jazz waltz rhythm. So, because like I said, there's a lot, a lot of sort of sub gradations of how jazzy or how not jazzy. So I'm All Smiles was written in uh, 1964 for a Broadway show called The Yearling which opened after, shortly after that. And um, it's really interesting because a, for a tune that's not like, it's a really nice tune, it's beautiful, isn't it? All right, so you can see, hear some of that um, play on how swingy and how straight to play, sort of in a very fluid way in what I just played. But um, uh, it's a nice tune. It's, it's not one of the all-time jazz greats, or at least not in terms of popularity. It could be your favorite song, it could be a lot of people's, but it's not one that you know, you're gonna see on a top 10 list of standards to learn. Um, but it's been recorded by a lot of great musicians. Um, Hampton Hawes, the pianist, made a, a famous version of it. Oscar Peterson, Bill Evans, a lot of pianists and, and other jazz musicians played this tune. And I was thinking, why is that, you know? 
And if you think about it historically, it makes sense because by the time 1964, 1965 rolled around, mainstream jazz was sort of on a decline in terms of popularity. It was still around. But the Beatles had hit big. You know, our rock and roll had come in, you know, eight, nine, ten years earlier than that in the 50s. So Elvis was already ancient history and kind of passe, passe as well by this time. But the Beatles had hit in 1963-64 big time. And, um, you know, rock and roll was here to stay, as they say. And, um, but jazz sort of coexisted. Broadway and jazz could still get on the pop charts. In fact, when the Beatles um, had their number one, two, three, four spots on the hit parade, a famous lineup where they had the first four songs in, um, uh, in, the, in the charts, um, the one song that displaced them at number one was Hello Dolly by uh, Louis Armstrong. So um, just goes to show you there was that play. So a jazz tune could still maybe get on the charts by this time. I remember one time Billy Taylor, who I studied with in the 80s, I found one of his old records in a, a second-hand shop. It was like Taylor made piano or something. And a lot of the tunes were only three or four, three and a half minutes. And I called him up. I said, I'd love it, but I'm just curious. Why didn't you stretch out more? I'd love to hear you stretch out and play longer solos. And he said, Ron, we were going for airplay. We wanted one of these songs to get on the charts because Ahmad Jamal had had a big hit with But Not For Me in the late 50s. And, and it could still happen in the early 60s. So, um, I'm All Smiles was one of those tunes. It was written for a Broadway show in the era when pop and rock was starting to come in, and, um, but it was written in a jazz waltz style. So anybody who loved jazz waltzes saw this as an opportunity. Hey, this is a song that people are hearing on Broadway right now. People are hearing this every night, and we can record a current song, a current well-known song, and do it in a straight ahead jazz way, which we love playing. So there you go, that's why everybody gravitated towards it. Um, there's also a great vocal version by Barbara Streisand, who was doing Broadway at that time, and she sings in such a pure way. Definitely hear it. The rhythm section is playing a jazz waltz, and she's just floating over it. Da, 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 da. She's singing up, up the octave in that beautiful lyric voice she has. Um, so, here we go. Um, I might do a pedal tone. Sometimes I like playing around with just like an A. Just sort of, I don't know why, it's the fifth of the, uh, the, the D chord. Sometimes I'll play an A pedal for a while, or I don't know. Let's see where this takes us, and you can um, watch how there's an interplay between jazziness and a little straighter feel, even maybe a little of a hint of a ballad in here. And then you can try the same on this tune and those other jazz waltzes I mentioned, like Waltz for Debbie.
Wonderful tune to play, you know, and as I was saying before, it's not one of the top 10 that you'll hear, you know. Um, if you go to a typical jam session, you know, you'll hear things like All Things You Are or Wayne Shorter Tunes, B5, Fo Fum. You're not, you're not going to necessarily walk into a jam session and someone says, hey, let's, let's um, play I'm All Smiles. You might hear it at a vocalist's open mic, but why not introduce it? You know, bring the, bring the chart because not everybody knows it and uh, have fun. It's a great way to explore these jazz waltzes. Um, and like I said before, really get into these different feelings like... If you want some step-by-step -step guide on how to get that jazz waltz feeling, I have some lessons in my video course at Keyboard Improv. And I'd love to help you if you're interested in Skype lessons or Zoom or whatever. Whatever you need, whether it's checking in with a video course and working on your own or personal feedback every week. I'd love to help you any way I can. And um, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. We're building a great community here. So leave a comment if you have something or just to say hi or in support of this or encourage someone else who left a comment. And uh, remember, enjoy every step of the journey and let the music flow. Take care.